Hi everyone, I just recently passed Data Structures and Algorithms 1 at WGU. I wanted to share my thoughts briefly in this video. I think that this is a good class. There's a lot of really good content to learn both in terms of conceptual computer science theory and really practical things that we can all use in our code when we're trying to create programs that are efficient, that incorporate some of the things that we actually learn in this class like computational time complexity, space complexity, things like that. I would say that there's a lot of content to cover in this course. The uh, way that this course is assessed is there's one objective assessment, so it's a multiple choice proctored exam, just like a lot of other classes there. I think it's harder than the practice assessment offered in the class. I found that the practice assessment was good preparation, but it only helped me with, I think, 60-ish percent of the objective assessment. That isn't to say I just studied the practice assessment. I actually went through the course material before trying the objective assessment. But still, I think the, the OA is harder than the PA for this course. For this course, I recommend just studying a lot. There is a good amount of material that you will need to know for sure. Everything from basic data structures to more abstract data structures to things like different search and sort algorithms, knowing the best average and worst case time complexities of different algorithms, understanding what a bubble sort does, what a selection sort does, things of that nature are going to be really helpful. There's also a lot of vocab that's helpful to know. So I think, at least for me, this course took a little bit more effort than some other courses to really sit down and grasp everything. But I think it's actually really useful because this is all like directly useful for what we do as we're creating software, as we're making things run well for data science or for even game development. I think overall, it's a good course. Definitely recommend studying the concepts. The study guide is really good for this course in terms of outlining the things you need to know. It's actually not that helpful for directing you to specifics. It's more like, oh, this is a concept for this subsection. This is a concept for this subsection, etc but it's still good. Yeah, that's the brief thing. I hope it's helpful. 